Good. Um, you don't know me, you've never met me, but I feel like I know you because I've seen so many of your movies and uh big fan. Yeah, thank you for saying that. Just uh while I was uh in here, I was just looking at your uh you know, all of your uh what are they called? filmography and yeah i mean just so many one after the other you know so all the ones i uh i'm a movie buff so always good to see you pop up and uh good to see you pop up in cabrini too yeah did you get a chance to watch it i watched some of it yeah 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 good yeah, but it, it i everything i've heard i mean all the buzz about it is just uh through the roof so which is often nice to hear. I, I've gotten to go to a couple of screenings and just seeing people's reaction to it, it's really wonderful. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful. What was it uh, that drew you to uh, the script and, and to want to be involved in it? Well, Alejandro, the director, had asked me to do a couple of things um, previously, two other movies that he'd done before this. And and those did not work out. So I I particularly paid attention when this one was sent to me. Um, I knew he was a good director, and uh, so I was interested in working with him already. But the script, you know, it always has to be the script, and it has to be the the, the character. If 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 those don't work, then you know, I'm not going to do it. Uh, but this one, the 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 storytelling was really good about Mother Cabrini. And a character, uh, you know, because I get asked to play some hard cases um, pretty often, uh, what I liked about it is it, he was, he he starts off that way, but he has a real journey that he goes on. And by the end of it, he is really helping her and friends with her. Uh, and she teaches him a teaches him a pretty good lesson about how far he has strayed from from being a, in his words a shepherd. So I, I I like that. Well, you mentioned uh, that sometimes you play pretty hard cases, and yet uh, I think most of my memories of you are like the you know kind of the friendly uh, you know supporting actor or whatever. But I I do remember the turns in the rock and. Uh, Disturbia, I think, was probably the most notorious one. The first time when I was like, oh, wait, that he's supposed to be the nice guy. <laughs> now he's not. Yeah. But uh, yeah. how how were you able to, you know, you like I said, your filmography is so extensive. Um, did you rest? Did you have any other hobbies at that time? Or did you just go like from film to film? Well, there was a period in my life that I I was away from home when you know, when when you know, when our kids were younger, I literally was gone nine months out of the year. Uh, and Susan was basically a, a single mother during that time. And when I'm home, uh, I try to be involved with everything I could possibly be. I cook dinner every night and try to be an assistant coach on things. And really, when I'm home, I'm home. Uh, and that's that's what was important to me. Because uh, I, I, love, I love being a father and I'm you know, I love our family. So that, that was the big thing. And so you had a relationship with the director before this. Uh, so this was a, an easy connection for you, right? I, I didn't actually have a, um, because I hadn't worked with him yet. Uh, I just, you know, he just approached me and oh. I got to see his, I saw his movie Sound of Freedom, which he did a terrific job with. Um, so that was a good, you know, it's a good introduction. It's a good opening. And um, so I, I was I was glad we got to got to work together and know each other a little bit. Um, well, Sound of Freedom was became so huge for him that 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 this is like a highly anticipated follow up. Uh, so it's going to have, you know, it's got so much uh, so much uh, enthusiasm around it. Um, what do you think people will uh, kind of get from it when they walk away? Do you, it's it's an inspirational story, but uh... yes, it's completely completely an inspirational story. She she is I mean she truly was an amazing woman, and Christiana Delano, who plays her, is absolutely fantastic. I, I can't imagine anybody playing this role. 
uh, truer or better than her. And she's a, a wonderful human being. Uh, and you can feel it. You can feel it when you watch it, the quality of her melding with the quality of this woman, uh, Mother Cabrini. And it's and in, in a lot of ways, this is um, a kind of storytelling and filmmaking we don't get to see a lot anymore because Hollywood isn't, the, are, they're not making these movies. Uh, and, and Eustace Wolfington, who, who was the inspiration um, behind getting this done, he, you know, he said, if, if we're going to do it, we're going to do this right. And that means spending money. And I've never been in an independent movie that has spent the kind of money that he spent on, on making this. And when you watch it, you see it, you feel it. It's all there, creating that world. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. It's picture perfect. I mean, when I see, when I saw uh, what I have seen of it, uh, the images, you know, some of them could be paintings or hung on the wall. I mean, they're just really framed so beautifully. Yeah, completely. He, he you know, he was originally going to do it before the pandemic. And, uh, and obviously everybody had to shut down. So he had two years, basically, to do nothing but storyboard this movie. And originally he was going to do it in black and white. So he... He designed it to be shot with those, you know, those old black and white, beautiful lighting and image and all, all of that and framing. Um, and and right before they started shooting, uh, shooting, uh, Eustace, the producer said, you know what, I I love that you're you're inspired to do this in black and white, but we can't do that. It, it's got to be color. So the you know the cinematographer, you see though, the the lighting is. It all comes from that, those two years of working those black and white images and transferring them to color and the framing. It, it, it really is spectacular. What was it like working? And you probably, have you worked with John Lithgow before? You know what? I, I haven't. It was, it was really fun because we'd known about each other forever. Uh, and, and he had actually asked me when I was doing St. San, San Elsewhere, you know, in the 1980s, to do a reading of a script that he wrote. I couldn't do it. I was so disappointed uh, to, to, to read the role that he would have done. Um, and in and, and, and this, this movie, he walked into the makeup trailer when he got there and I was in the makeup trailer. And the first thing he said, so, so here's the man who's been stealing all my roles. <laughs> so we got together. Yeah. We had a really good day. You do kind of have a similar similar journey, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. David, when somebody approaches you on the street, what's the first thing they say? What's the first uh, role they associate you with? Um, well, always the Green Mile. You know, it, it's almost always the Green Mile. It, it just shows all the time, all over the world. It's not just in the street here. It's I go to another country, you know, they're stopping me because of Green Mile. And, and you know, what a great movie to be remembered for. Uh, saying elsewhere, I, I can't believe how many times people say to me, and now it's mostly people saying, oh, I used to watch you with my mother when I was a kid. Um, um, and and contact, too. Contact is another big one. Uh, you know, it, because it's a movie that meant so much to people. So it's it's nice to be remembered for those things. Yeah, and the, yeah, like you said, the Green Mile had its own kind of inspiration to it, and I think it's it ultimately was, you know, kind of a feel good. So I think that's kind of burned in people's hearts. But, you know, I also think, of, like I say, The Rock, you know, uh, and uh, yeah. Disturbia and all that. So it's great to talk to yeah. you. It's just an honor, uh, honor of mine, because, uh, like I said, uh, I feel like I know you uh, to actually be able to talk one on one with you. It's really nice. Oh, thanks. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. I like hearing that. It's nice to talk to you. Any uh, any particular memories that you take from the from the filming besides uh, John Lithgow ribbing you? Well, really, the big thing, Alejandro, uh, because he's a director, we didn't get to spend that much time together. But uh, Christiana, uh, she, most of my scenes were, are with are with her, and just like I said, the quality of of her as a human being, her and her husband. Uh, the friendship that 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 to me is is probably the big thing and the most important thing well i think it's gonna i think it's gonna do well i think angel has a a pretty incredible strategy that they do uh they did with sound of freedom the whole 
pay it forward thing where you buy, uh, you know, you, you donate money and, and give other tickets and it made such a big impact. I, I can't imagine this is going to do anything, uh, less than make a big impact. Well, just to add to that one thing, Eustace uh, Wolfington, when he agreed to do this movie um, and put the money into it, he said the one thing that he wants to make sure of that uh, any profits from this go to charity. It, oh, he doesn't wow. want a profit. It, so uh, everything's going to charity. Oh, which that's is un unheard of in this business. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. So there's yeah. an impact even beyond you know what people walk out of. There's going to be another impact to oh, it. Sure. That's amazing. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So hopefully, yeah. Uh, maybe we'll get a chance to connect again. Uh, the movie comes out in, is it March? Yeah, I think it's March 8th. I think that's it. International okay. Women's Day. Okay, yeah. great. Well, thanks yeah. so much for making time today. And uh, I just appreciate it. Like I say, it'll be highlight of my day. Oh, nice to hear. Well, thank you for, for having me and doing this.